Welcome to Health Connection. I'm Chris Wilgus with Kettering Health Network. And today we're joined by Dr. Chital Pema of Far Hills Medicine and Podiatry. First of all, thanks for talking to me today. You're welcome. In terms of managing diabetes, how common are diabetic patients in the hospital? Well, um, foot complications account for more hospital admissions than any other complication of diabetes. Approximately 20% of hospital admissions are a result of uh, diabetic foot ulcers. People with diabetes are anywhere from 8 to 24 times more likely than non-diabetic population to have a lower leg amputation. What kind of stuff can you do to help prevent them from getting to that point to where they need a foot amputation? Uh, prevention really begins with first controlling diabetes, secondly identifying risk factors that will lead to diabetic foot ulcers. Structural deformities um, combined with vascular disease and peripheral va nerve disorder are going to put a patient at higher risk, and this has to be identified starting with the primary care physician and then a referral to a specialist such as myself uh, to stratify, to understand how much at risk a patient is at uh, of developing an ulcer. So what kind of steps can patients actually take to try and prevent this issue? Patients need to have their diabetes controlled tightly and then have a referral for an evaluation where we de determine the risk of how likely a patient is of developing an ulcer. So what kind of involvement do you have with patients with diabetes? So once a patient has developed an ulceration to the foot um, and hospitalization is occurring, uh, we will evaluate to make every effort to salvage the limb, anywhere from uh, debriding the wound to addressing the structural deformities to reconstructing uh, the foot. So our involvement is both medical and surgical. You can find Dr. Pema and others like him at KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Keep watching for more Health Connection podcasts and please subscribe to the audio version on iTunes. Thanks again for joining me. Thank you.